back to uh, part three of episode two, where we're in the uh, challenge the block uh, section. So we're going to catch up on our challenges from the last episode. So Eric, your challenge was to watch five episodes of the- yeah, Well, five original episodes. Uh, so what I did was I went on YouTube and I'm thinking uh, what to watch. I typed in, you know, 80s cartoons and 90s cartoons. And it's unbelievable how many good cartoons there were out there, you know, that yeah. we were watching. And I was like, wow, I could have watched this, I could watch that. And I struggled. And at the end, it was just the, the ones I could find easiest. Uh, what, did you, what was that? So the first one, I chose Thundercats because of Anthony. He said that one was really weird. And it was weird, the, the whole nakedness. But you could see the, the you know, the, the underwear is drawn on a naked body. Yeah. So that, for me, that was really weird. And mm-hmm. it just had a, a weird feeling to it. You look at it, I'm like, how would that catch the imagination of kids, you know? But then this, yeah. But then the song comes on. Yeah. And it's oh like, cats. The cats. Oh. Du, 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 du. And I was like, yeah, this is cool. And then I could see where the hook was. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, okay. But there wasn't, the storyline wasn't, it was, at least it told you a bit about find the cats where they come from and about third earth you know and you know in the future and mumra and all that so it rather than saying it a b c like this yeah. is it you you through the cartoon you can actually understand and once you watch the, the first episode you kind of get it yeah so and funny enough i decided to watch the last episode and the last episode of Thundercats was kind of like, kind of boring. Yeah. It kind of, you know, everything kind of finished off, you know, and obviously they won, but it was like, okay, fair enough. Then, then I think they're making a, re, a, a new version of that. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. So I'm um, thinking of another one, and you know, just the really popular ones and stuff like that. I was thinking what cartoon I really did love, you know, and bought all the stuff and everything. It was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And that was actually really good, seeing that the first one, the, the drawings was pretty poor, but, uh, I didn't really like how April O'Neil was quite fit. And, <laughs> can't <laughs> do it. I'm just uh, <laughs> thinking, whoa, you know, they're, they're drawing a little bit too much curve on this, you know. Mm. Uh, but at least the story, it starts off, uh, and it introduces slowly, you know, the, the characters. So again, you, you just need to watch the first episode and you kind of understand yeah. and it's yeah. not too in depth and it is fun you know it's like actually I know why and as soon as the, the song came on you know it's like yes, yes I was singing it mm-hmm. so I'm like oh this is cool so I'm like oh, uh, by this time I was like yeah he's, you know, it's great so I decided to watch Inspector Gadget oh nice I love Inspector yeah. Gadget yeah. and that one was like a just an episode there wasn't a beginning or anything. It's oh, just okay. an episode, and it was sort of, uh, during the Winter Olympics. And um, it, you just jump straight in, and Inspector Gadget has a tash. And, yeah, so... which, w- But he does say in, uh, in the cartoon that it's a disguise. He's on holiday, but he's got a tash during... during yeah. Hmm. And um, the voices was... Uh, we all know the voices, but Penny's voice was weird because at the beginning she sounds like a really young girl. Yeah. And then um it suddenly changes during you know, you can hear it changes and you hear the real penny, but then then there's it goes back to like a little girl and uh, Yeah, so it's weird. Again, it was it, it was freakishly weird when you yeah. look at it. So I was like, okay but I remember we seeing that episode, but not knowing that it was the original. Mm. So going to another one I went to watch the the real Ghostbusters. Uh, which was good, and again with Inspector Gadget and the other uh, the other cartoons, it's the the music, the, yeah. the theme tune, yeah. which you know gets you. That's what, well, yeah, yeah. The theme between all of them, if you notice, yeah. is the um, the music and the intro, and stuff like, yeah. It, yeah, and that's that's what kept us watching it because we knew yeah. that as soon as that was on, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I wonder if kids get that with, with modern cartoons and stuff that they, 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 they you get these iconic theme tunes. Mm. We had some crackers, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. And plus, I remember that uh, these film tunes were, you know, you actually go and buy the record and yeah. stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, but the Real Ghostbusters, that was, uh, that's actually a pretty good, uh, 
first um, episode. Again, jump straight into it. Um, explain why they call themselves Real, Real Ghost Versus, yeah. which was basically they, they called ghosts and they escape and they... To, to get back at the Ghostbusters, they created their own Ghostbusters company mm-hmm. act, using themselves and always beating the Ghostbusters to the punch until they awaken a class 10 ghost, which was, you know, really the biggest ghost you can get. And then, uh, Ghostbusters, uh, come in and you see Janine actually says, we're the real Ghostbusters. And then you can, you, yeah. you get it. But, yeah, so that was actually good. And the final one was uh, The Simpsons. And oh, wow. Yeah, I just, I thought, wow, you know, yeah. so, you know, The Simpsons. But yeah, that's an 80s. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, ago, but what, what, I knew, I, I remember seeing the, you know, like some of the, the original episodes, but I didn't know it was like a couple minutes long. And it was for a, the Tracy, the Tracy show, Tracy Ullman show. Which was like a thing, satire thing, you know, uh, and they had the little sketch and it was for three seasons they did that. Really? And it was only a couple of minutes. Um the when you watch it you can you can see the characters, but it seemed a little bit more uh I don't know, a little bit more adultish, you know, is you know, not the like for example the homo that mm. we love, etc. So, but then I found the original episode of The Simpsons that we know, hmm. and it was a Christmas special. Oh. And I think you guys, if you see it, you go, yeah, I've seen this before. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like it's an original episode. And uh, the only thing that you, which makes it, um, iconic is, uh, they, this, it's, it's kind of the story of how they get, uh, Santa's little help. Yes, yeah, I remember. Mm. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the original. It was a greyhound on, they lost yeah. their bet, didn't they? Yeah. 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 Something like that. Yeah, but yeah, it was, it was that. But yeah, so that's the explanation. That's, that's the story to it. But watching that and knowing that, that it was too yeah. life to, to The Simpsons. So yeah, it was actually pretty good. But after seeing all the other types of things, the the thing that I found out throughout the whole uh, watching all these episodes, like you said, is the theme tune mm. you know, that gets that okay. gets you. Yeah, the, the storyline, yeah, but the theme tune, you know, yeah. really gets you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An exciting week for that then. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Yours, yours was uh... mine was the drinking challenge, and um, yeah. I didn't do it. <laughs> great oh, okay. That's a great start. That should be a yeah. forfeit for that. Yeah. yeah, actually, we're going to have to come up with a forfeit. Yeah, we'll come up with a forfeit. Yeah. So, what did you do? Just time. There's just always time, time yeah. to drink just a stein of beer. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just didn't get a chance to get there's, a stein. There's always an advertising. There's always, there's always time for a stein. stein. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, I uh, as I explained earlier on, I've got no uh, no internet at the moment, so that that was that kind of made things difficult for me so I, I wanted to download a, a game on the Xbox to play which was which was obviously proven difficult with no internet um, so I ended up kind of using my phone and I found R-Type okay, so yeah. I was playing R-Type on my phone Brilliant. which was which was tough actually because yeah. I think it was uh, we had a conversation off, off air which is talking about um, I struggle to use the screen of a phone as a control pad mm. but I need to use kind of tangible buttons and that's what I struggled with mm. so I found like I wanted the, 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 the plane to move the, the spacecraft to move up and so I moved my thumb up and then my thumbs my thumb was blocking where, you, where all these bullets yeah. and I ended up dying because my big stupid thumbs were in the way of <laughs> everything so um, it it proved harder so I didn't actually get through to the end um, but it kind of goes back that these just these scrolling games that we used to think were like really good fun are still good fun and incredibly difficult actually. Mm, yeah, There's, they're, they're not easy. They're not easy. <clears throat> but also Anthony, what he's um, lent me his PSP, and he's got loads of um, uh, Sega games on there. So Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh yeah, and a couple of those. So I'm actually, although the challenge is done, I'm going to still yeah. play some of those because I actually really enjoy playing our type for, uh, for this week, which was cool. Um, Anthony's challenge, um, Hedok and myself were present when he did his challenge and that was to, um, to take part in wing roulette at one of our local, local pubs. Um, he did get one of the hottest wings and we've got it on video, um, and we'll kind of edit into, into this piece. Um, but he was lucky enough not to get the hottest wings. 
um, which I was stupid enough to get. <laughs> and um, Henoch's brother, yeah. Michael, also got one of the hottest ones. And um, we're in the middle of a pub uh, ordering milk to try and soothe the day that was that hot. Um, but he did have a hot wing um, and he suffered. Uh, bless him, he really did suffer. Um, so that was... Almost all challenges yep. done for this week. So we've got a challenge for next uh, next time. Um, slight change. We're actually just going just to pick one name um, from now on. One name, one challenge. Um, and we'll go from, from there. So, Eric, do you want to pick the name? Yep, I'll pick the name. It's a uh, drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Darren. Oh, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> okay. oh, Hello, do you want to pick the challenge? Yeah. Oh crap. Alright. Cinnamon challenge. Okay, so brilliant. So I've got to do the cinnamon challenge, so uh we'll sure we'll do that between now. And the recording of the next show. The next show is actually going to take place in a different venue because we're moving out from from this flat, so that'll be our first uh, our first recording there. So join us in in two weeks' time. Um, don't forget to, to contact us. You can email us at hello at red uh, little red block dot com, and you can tweet us at red block tweets um, and keep your challenges coming in. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.